if you'd like to be able to streamline your data entry in Sage 50, uh, one of the things you can do is hide some of the fields that you don't use. Now you've got a couple of options that are built into some of the screens um, to hide or show fields, but you can customize them too. Now I'm going to be showing you uh, how this works using the sales invoicing window, uh, but you can also do it in quotes, sales orders, proposals, um, purchase orders, or the purchases receiving, which is the same thing as enter bills. We'll go back to sales invoice. And so the layout button right up here on the toolbar is where you can go to customize this. So um, you'll want to go customize invoice layout. And um, it's already got custom invoice in here for me. You can say new if you want to start fresh. You could also choose um, an existing one, except you can't edit the, uh, the predefined templates. So you can give your template a name. And then you can give it a description if you want. And then all you have to do is come through here and uncheck the things that you don't want to see. So maybe um, if you don't use PO numbers normally when you're entering invoices, or if we scroll down here, um, you might want to take out the ship to address. That's a lot of fields to jump through if you don't normally use it. Um, those those are all the uh, the individual fields. See if we save that and go back. See those are the fields up here in the heading. We'll come back, keep uh, modifying this. And then also over here you have columns that you can take out. So maybe if you don't deal with sales tax, you might want to take out the tax type column um, or um, you know whatever whatever you might want to remove there's the job ID if you don't do job costing you can save that and you can see immediately those take effect and uh, so no job field over there no tax type and if you discover that you need a field that you've got hidden you can always just go back up here hit one of the predefined uh, templates and then uh, you know then you could use that field um, and it'll be there as long until you go back and switch back to your custom layout and you know, it doesn't affect the data, it only affects what's being displayed on the screen. Now let's come back in here, and um, you'll notice that uh, there's also another column here for printed form. that shows up on all the screens that I mentioned except for uh, the purchases receive inventory, because uh, you can't print out an accounts payable invoice uh, like you can the others. But I don't usually recommend using this to control how your form prints. There are limited cases where it might be okay. Um, like for example, since we talked about customer PO number, if you uncheck that box for customer PO number, um, and I save this change, notice it pops up a warning here that I should review the layout. If I click on that, then here is my invoice layout. And you notice I still have a space on the invoice for customer PO. There's just no field there. Like over here, we have a, f a field there for customer ID. Here we've got the terms. There's nothing in customer PO. But hiding it, hiding it through the, the layouts feature does nothing to rearrange. You know, uh, it doesn't adjust to bring the other fields together or something. It just takes that out, off of there. I still have a field labeled customer PO, so that doesn't really accomplish a whole lot in my opinion. And even worse than that is, um, say, if you, well, if you were to hide um, a column, and we do the same thing, then you can see that this table over here, it just shrinks it you know, and leaves it looking terrible. Now the amount isn't even lined up with the total, so you'd still have to come in here and edit your table to get it to, uh, you know, to look right. And if you, even worse than using it to remove fields, is if you add a field, um, let's say we want to put customer PO number back in. You would think it would go right back where it came from, but that's not the case. 
it gets added here top center on the screen so now you could you could drag it and put it back where it belongs but at this point you might as well just go in and customize the invoice or the invoice format the way you normally would and if I had a column if it was a wide column it would push it all the way off the page you know the this table section here so um, I don't see any point in in using in using these fields here these check boxes to to show or hide fields uh, from the invoice uh, but one good thing is you can choose a custom invoice that you want to use that'll always be associated with this with this template um, so whichever one you normally want to use you can select that make it part of your template and then as long as you have that template selected here when you go to print it's automatically going to use that template instead of uh, the default behavior which is to print using whatever the last uh, last layout was the last in custom form that you would use one other thing that I wanted to mention was that um, you'll notice in here uh, that the GL account is not listed anywhere uh, if you're looking for that it's located somewhere else and you had the option to hide or show the GL account um, long before that layout button was added so if you come back to the main window go to options and global here you have uh, options to hide or show GL accounts for accounts receivable accounts payable and payroll entry so since those features were already there before you know before the layout option came along they left those there so you check the box to hide it clear the box to show it we'll click OK to save that change and if the um, if the in window was already open that change won't take effect until you close the window and reopen it I guess one other thing that I didn't mention was that in the customize invoice layout window there are some links in here that will take you directly into the the uh, form customizing screen so that's a shortcut to how you can get there or if you need to fix the the way it added or or hid certain fields then you got a quick way to get there so that's it if you've been looking for a way to hide fields that you don't use in the, the transaction entry screens of Sage 50 just go to the layout button and customize the invoice layout